Lewis. Headlines. Headlines. You can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, Jess, what you got? All right, so the Astro World tragedy, the mm. death toll has now risen to nine. And it's a shame. It's a family of a 22 year old Texas AM student. They said yesterday that she had died the night before. Barty Shahani was in critical condition and injured uh, with this deadly crush of fans at the Astro World Fest that took place in Houston. A nine year old does remain in a medically induced coma. Meanwhile, represent representatives for Scott said in a statement yesterday that he was distraught over the tragedy and has been trying to connect with the families of those who died to share his condolences and give them aid. A criminal investigation is being conducted. And on the civil side, more than 50 lawsuits have already been filed. Wow. Yeah. I bet. Sad, sad situation there. Now, the defense has rested in the Kyle Rittenhouse's Wisconsin murder trial yesterday, one day after the 18-year-old took the stand, testifying that he shot three men during the racial justice protest in Kenosha in August of 2020 after the police shooting of Jacob Blake, two of them fatally in self-defense and at one point sobbing on the stand. The prosecutors and the defense attorneys will be back in court today for the finalization of the instructions that will be given to the jury before they begin deliberating next week after closing our Arguments are expected on Monday. It's a closing arguments. Yeah. Yeah. I think this, I mean, this is going by pretty quickly now once they got the ball rolling. The judge told the jury to get ready for closing arguments next week. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he did take the stand. So we'll see if it was going to be, you know, helpful or not. Will he be found guilty and go down for murder or will he? Be innocent, self-defense. No. Is there anything in there in between where he can like be not, not with like negligence or like? Something yeah, I'm not like sure. That? Not what you want. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I know we had a few people check in yesterday that said that they think he's gonna walk. So I, everybody I've talked to, that's they what they all think. Feel that. That's what they think. After the judge said what he said. Mm -hmm. And the, mm -hmm. well, because the judge got mad mm -hmm. at you know the questioning, right, and said that it could be considered a mistrial, and he can't be tried twice for that. Will he get off and walk, or will he be found guilty for murder? Mm. And get off and walk, meaning it'll be deemed a self defense, right. and he had right. the right, and all this. Mm -hmm. I just cannot get past the fact that. He left his house, mm -hmm. drove however many miles. I think it's over 100 miles. From Illinois to Wisconsin with a loaded AR-15. For what? Mm -hmm. And went out on the streets. 17 at the time, right? Yeah, 17 yeah. went out on the streets. Yep. You know, you can get technical about anything that happened after that point, but at that point, I don't... I don't understand it. I know. You know? There's a lot of questions. I mean, we trip about our 18-year-old going to the, going shopping with her friends. Like, <laughs> what time are you going to be home? Where yeah, What's going on? And we get on her nerves <laughs> questioning what's going on. You know? And a 17-year-old with a loaded AR-15 mm. drives 100 miles. To defend what? I know. To defend what? Whose property? Yours? No. I'm just wondering if there's His family's? Other things, no. other charges in there. You know, like you're saying, uh, you know, taking a weapon. Do you need a license for that particular weapon? Yeah. How did you get it? cross it? How did a 17-year-old get a another? loaded? I don't know the law in, you know, those states. A loaded AR-15. That's where you lose me. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Is this real life? going on here are we for real yeah was it his was it someone else's i don't know i don't know any of those answers i don't uh, i mean whoever got him the gun should be charged whoever let him load it should be charged <laughs> i mean come on now i did hear them say like do you use this for hunting so he may be if he is in fact able to use an ar-15 to hunt well all right let me ask you something but i you, mean you, i don't i don't know that world so let me add that for hunting i don't think all right well, well let me ask you because i know your son hunts yeah okay 
an AR-15, I don't hunt, so I eat what your son hunts. But <laughs> um, I don't know if it's legal to use an AR-15 yeah, but in Delaware. What do you hunt with an AR-15? You can hunt what? with one. But w- w- what is typically, you, like, what do I'm you sure typically hunt? I'm sure there's an animal out there that you can use an Yeah, but you're saying I'm sure there's hunt. an animal. Like, but, no, there is. There is. Um, yeah, but what? In, like, other states, t- I know that you can, like, go boar hunting, and you can do, like, elk, and you can you can hunt for all these other kind of animals. Okay. And but, you can use different firearms. But, but what's do I typically. Know particularly what. So you I don't. I know my son does deer. I know he uses a shotgun, a muzzleloader, and a bow. Okay, right. Okay? What For protection, it, what we is have used? other firearms. What is used or For, what, what is hunted with an AR-15 other than war? <laughs> I, I mean, that's the thing. I'm just asking, like, what? Yeah, I mean, I have friends that have one, and we just use it at... at you know, either their home. They no, have big that's not. No, that's not the question. For, like, What's what? What do hunters use an AR-15 for? No, I'm just for? telling you what my yeah. friends. Yeah, well, I, I want to know. That's my. That's my only question. Them, they're going to say, "Yeah, I have one. I own one to protect my home. We use it at the range. We use it for target practice. Different." So there is no. The, so there is no. But can you use an AR-15 to hunt? And what animal? I can look it up. I want to know. If if you guys could please help me here, because everybody always goes back to the old hunting. <laughs> the old hunting question. Pigs, coyote. Okay, pigs and coyote. All right. I don't know. I'm, I'm just. Oh, hold on, hold on. Instant text. Okay. You can use it also for deer and small game. But is it typically used for deer? No, it's not. I can tell you that right now. I've never seen in my 40 years of life here. someone Hold. out. Going hunting deer with an AR-15. Hog hunting. You can use it, but I've never, like, normally it's, like you say, a shotgun, a bow, stuff like that. Some do in other states, but mainly for small game. What's that mean? Small game. Some people use it as regular weapons to oh, hunt. Oh, okay. Yeah. In other states. Gotcha. But mainly for small game. I'm just trying to learn here. And then here, like I said, hog hunting, pig hunting. Okay. There's, you know, videos, pictures. I don't use that weapon for all these things, but I know people do. All right. Well. Bobcats, coyotes, foxes. I actually need one in our neighborhood. For, <laughs> how about foxes and raccoons? <laughs> There's some answers for you. I don't know. If Can that I get an AR-15 for some foxes and some raccoons in our neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, it says two of the more popular ways to get into hunting are predator hunting for animals like coyotes. Of feral hogs in the southeastern U.S. Okay. An AR-15 is ideally suited to both types of hunting. Now, what about a 17-year-old? All right, so age? Yeah, age. Because this is all important here, guys, with this trial. And, you know, plus sometimes we learn on the show. And we know I know there's a lot of hunters, you know, who do, uh, you know, are right here on Delmarva. And we have a lot of hunters who listen. And we love you guys. We have nothing but respect. And shout out to all of our gun owners. It's like, you know. For long guns, which includes rifles like AR-15s and shotguns, the minimum age to purchase one from a licensed dealer is 18 under the federal law, but there's no minimum age to purchase a long gun from an unlicensed seller. Yeah, but from an un- unlicensed? Oh, okay. Hold on. U.S. federal law, the minimum age. I guess a private or unlicensed seller which could be a neighbor, someone online, or at a gun show. Mm. Rittenhouse had a friend's gun. Wasn't his. Okay. Okay. I'm just, yeah, but I'm just trying to figure out, you know, what the age is. Like, how, 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 how do you purchase that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Still looking for your thoughts and comments. 302-858-5117. My man Ray says he's getting off. 
He thinks so, too. He thinks he's getting off. Wow. Uh, I think there's something in there, some loophole. Kurt on. Carelessness, like something that. I don't know. It just doesn't seem like okay. Kurt on Facebook says, I don't think this is going to go the way we expect. He will walk. But good morning, Bill and Jess. Just got to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Deer. Uh, they hunt deer. Maryland, you can hunt deer with an AR-15 in Delaware. You cannot. Okay. Use any rifle, period. Oh, okay. Prosecutor has been poor the entire case. Mm. All right. Thoughts and comments. Let's go. On the Rittenhouse case, 302-858-5117. We got more coming up next. Here's St. John and SZA. Good morning.